Simple experiments for kids, if their dads will let them. Simple experiments for dads. And wonderful experiments when you've lost your car in a car park and can't find it. I want to talk about my key fob and the central locking device on it. And you press this button and the lights flash. And the point is that this sends out electromagnetic waves. Now the, the frequency of these waves depends on whether you get a car in North America or elsewhere. For one it's about 320 megahertz, I can't remember the exact details, the other it's about 400. And 300 megahertz means that uh, the wavelength of these electromagnetic waves is about a meter, it's about so big. Now then, the whole point is that this has a range. If I walk away from the car, the signal coming out gets weaker and weaker and weaker. And there's a clever trick which I found on YouTube with Jeremy Clarkson in Top Gear explaining that if you have one of these key things, the central locking device, the range can be extended if you place the key against your head. I really wanted to know whether this is true, but I couldn't believe it. So what I want to do today is to explain how it works, but first I must show you that it works. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's 20 paces. If I use this, you see, even with my arm extended, I can get the lights to turn on. I'll now go another 15 paces this way and show you uh, that I, the car won't, lights won't go on unless I put this against my head. So here we go, one, two, three, four, 15. And now, if I press the key, nothing happens. But if I press the key, placing it next to my head, something happens. Now the reason this works is because everybody's brain, everybody's head is full of water. So I've got over there some water which I'll go and collect and we'll go another 20 paces that way and show you that the water will extend the range even further. So just don't go away for a minute, I'll just go get it. You think this is going to be entertaining enough? <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, even when I get here, the lights will flash. Ah, I must get away from the water. We're just about at the limit of the range of using your brain. It doesn't work. Now then, ah, I can't hold it. Let's put it way up there. I'm pressing now. There we go. When the electromagnetic waves goes into the water, all the water molecules see more or less the same electric field sloshing through it. The electric field moves the positive charges, that is the protons or the hydrogen ions one way, and the oxygen ions the other. So in effect what you've got is two protons being pushed upwards and then pulled downwards and pulled upward and downwards because of this oscillating electric field. That means that they're behaving rather like a radio aerial. The electrons are going up and down, up and down, radiating energy. Now if I point my key that way, there is a ray going straight from me to the car. But it's also going into the bottle of water over here, or my head over here. And the water in my head is going up and down in synchronisation with the rays coming out of this because you're so close together. If you're a half a wavelength, you'd be completely out of phase. But because you're close, you're in phase, and these waves add together. The wave coming from my key, the waves coming from the water in my head, or from the water in a bucket. And that's the reason why these two add together and extend the range of my car keys. There aren't obvious pa parallels with this in physics in the everyday world. This seems to be one of the few that I, everybody can play around with because they have these lovely keys, central locking devices for their cars. So you can do experiments at home. I didn't believe it. And the only way of finding out whether something is true is to do the, the damned experiment. Do the damned experiment. Find out what is reality. Disprove your prejudices. Okay. <laughs>